Hello everyone, welcome back to J Hunter Media. My name is Jason and this is part 14 of Bartholomew Simpson Road to the Show in MLB 23. Uh, so let's check out the. Oh, hold on. First, I just realized that. Um, Oh man, I'm still on. Do we have any gold? Battle tested. Ah, uh, some of our stuff goes down. Anyways, um, I want to go to equipment because uh. Even though he's not hitting, he can he, he can have that, and that should boost. Um, still 68 overall, but I know he's a focus on breaking. Maybe we'd want that on. Yeah, that would up. Okay, yeah, let's do that. Make sure I still have. All right. I'm just gonna equip. I probably should get him a gold glove, but um, we'll look for that later. Right. Let's see. Let's go inventory. Plus eight on arm. Ah, oh, that's the one I want right there. Oh, 28. All right, let me see if I can find a gold. Let's see, what was, that was uh, under armor. Let's see, how much is that? Ah, I can afford that. We're going for it. We're buying it. All right. Oh, that's not it. There we go. All right. Okay, so let's look at the. Oh man, it didn't say. Oh well. All right, let's play. An agent needs to check in from time to time to make sure his client is happy with his situation. Just checking in, uh, Bart. Uh, how are you feeling about your situation with the Cardinals organization? No complaints. A savvy agent will engender confidence in his client. 
confidence that he has a world of possibilities at his fingertips. It's my job to help you get what you want. Bart, uh, tell me anything that isn't ideal anytime and we can uh, look how we might work to change it going forward. Now I'm good. But the this is my dream. Good agent is how well he can turn these possibilities into actualities. All right, uh, I'll be checking in periodically to make sure you, you stay happy. You've got a good future ahead. Bart, uh, let's make it happen. All right. Play game. All right, we got like four hitters that are on a hot streak. That's good. Baseball on the show. All right, let's go. Almost ready to get underway. And today's starter, number 10, Ed Singy. We were talking earlier about how he's doing a great job navigating through tough spots. I've just been so impressed with when it seems like there's more pressure, he's more calm and settles in. He's done an incredible job with runners in scoring position. Most guys let's, uh, do that with tight, they start to aim the baseball, but for some reason, he gets looser, the ball comes out of his hand with more life, and he's able to wiggle off the hook of you know tough situations and get his team back in the dugout. Next oh. pitch is downstairs. That's where you want it. It's a good miss. Swing and yeah. miss. Four and a count one and, and two. Hey, need a strikeout right here. That's the third. Oh, great stop. The throw. And very nicely done for the out. Batting second. And now the first baseman, Liam Hicks. Homeward last night. Added another hit as well. All right, come on now. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Slapped foul. A little early on that fastball. I'm sure the pitcher taking a note. Look for an off-speed pitch in this next one. Started to go up to one-two. A check on it to third. And he went, says Dave Lawrence. Swing and a miss. Had him out front for strike three. Well, you rarely ever see three curveballs in a row because that's one of those pitches that's most effective when you haven't seen it recently. You might see three sliders in a row, but right there, he was feeling that curveball and figured he could finish with that pitch. That's a nice curveball. Space is empty. Now the left fielder, Trevor Hover. Here we go now. Let's go. This to third. Tosses to first. Yep. All right. That is that an inning in the books tonight? And we're scoreless here on the show. Bottom of the inning, and now go. it's going to be Jonathan Ornelas. That's good stuff. Jonathan Ornelas. Got the wind of the pitch. Here. And there's the strike. Here we go, guys. Here's a swing and a drive left field, and he knew it. Oh, my gosh. <clears throat> he circles the bases. Third home run of the season. It's 1-0. <laughs> Change up up in the zone is a hitter's dream. It's a, that was a good hit too. But you're playing in real time. Most times, the pitcher's asking for a new baseball, just like right there. <laughs> Here's the second baseman, Luis Angel Acuna. Didn't play in the day game yesterday, so he should be fresh for this one. 
Yeah, that's in there for strike one. Well, you just got to delete it. You give up that leadoff home run, go back to work, focus on this next batter. You'll want. Inside corner at the hey, knees for a strike. Yes. Okay, from here, he's got to treat this as a clean inning. Forget about the fact that his team is now down by a run. Next pitch inside. And that is ball one. And now the lefty popped up. I got it, I got it. Alvarez All right. makes the play, and there's one down. Got it, good. The right now it's the right fielder, Sandro Fabian. Didn't play in last night's game. A little breather for him. Yeah, we got one. Pitch misses inside, oh. and it's one to no. Is it one now? The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. In the air, right field. Turner glides to his left. Makes Got it. a grab on the run. All right. Two down. Got it. Seven. The third baseman. Jacks. Two outs, Biggers. bases empty. And now here is Jacks Biggers. And he swings and yes. misses, and it's up and one. Hey, come on, guys. Outside corner for a strike. Next offering is fouled back. Next oh. one misses, and that's ball one. Yeah, I thought that was ball two. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the A-B going. Let's see. Uh, we're good there. Pitching... Oh, I don't want the meter. Ah, camera. Let's see. Pitching, broadcast, outfield. Let's let's try that. I want to see what that looks like. Okay, that that does kind of zoom in. And a pitch. Swing and a miss All for right. the strikeout. Some high cheese for strike three. So they pick up a run of the solo shot and take the lead. We head on down to the top of the third. The Rough Riders have the advantage. One to nothing. Back here at the ballpark. And now the catcher comes up to him. Ryan Gold. The catcher. Ryan Gold. 25 years old. And he's been touching home plate quite a bit lately. Scoring eight runs over the last ten games. There's the strike. The pitch struck oh. him out swinging, <laughs> couldn't catch up to the heater. Away, away, away. Clearly that was the plan right there. He just wasn't able to put it in play. And that should tell you something as a hitter. Sometimes you're a little too conscious of the inside pitch, and you're not able to cover that outside part of the plate. So clearly some adjustments to be made next time. Now it's the switch hitting outfielder, Jace Easley. Next pitch downstairs, and that's ball one. And he deals. That one missed. There's a strike.
All right, come on now. One down, base is empty. Yeah, that uh -huh. skips in the dirt. And he walked him. Now a great back and forth and that at bad. He had to lay off some really now close I pitches and somehow Boogie found oh, a way yeah. to keep the bat on his shoulder right oh, there. I'll tell you right yeah. now, I couldn't have done it. And it's fouled away. Hernandez goes six feet, three inches, 195 pounds, and he's usually in the outfield. Today, he's the DH. Now a high fly ball out to left center. Kaperniak under it, hauls it in, and there's two away. All right, two outs. The bat. The first baseman. Leah Hicks. And here's the first baseman, Liam Hicks. 0 for 1. He struck out swinging last time. Hicks batting second in today's lineup, and he was a ninth round draft pick in 2021. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Check swing on a 1 0. Appeal to third, and he held up. Next offering is in for a strike. Two balls, one strike. On the ground at first, he steps on the bag, and that'll do it. So no runs on no hits, no errors, and one left on. On to inning number four, the Rough Riders. Hey, come on now. Welcome back. Bottom of the fourth. Now here is Trevor Hawthorne. Trevor Hawthorne. The pitch. Ball one, no strikes. He's been pitching well, but going through this middle of the order second time through, we'll see what kind of adjustments are being made. Next offering is in for a strike. Swinging. Yes. He chased the changeup and one gone in the fourth as they get the leadoff man. Well, that's always the key to effective pitching is getting ahead in the count. And as a pitcher, it really allows you to start expanding the zone. Guys become defensive, and all of a sudden, for the hitter, that plate starts to get really wide. And what happens is, because of the pressure, you end up committing to a pitch as a batter before you recognize what it is, and that's what leads to the strikeout. Now, Jonathan Ornelas. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Plays the first here. And that's in for a strike. Go ball. Two strikes. In the air, fairly deep to right field. Makes the catch. Right. That's out number two. At least we're tied now. Now that second baseman. Now it's going to be Luis Angel Acuna. Oh for one so far. Two down now. Swing and that ball smashed out of line. Yes. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that is that. Fifth inning coming up. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And now the right fielder, Sandro Fabian. Well, on paper, it's favorable to have a fairly quick inning here with two of the three hitters he's set to face batting from the left side, same side he throws from. You know, this group of hitters being a little too patient at the plate in this game. Sometimes it's a good thing, but today they're continuing to fall behind in the count, and that's adding a ton of pressure to their offense. Hey, 
Go with Chu now. And ball one. To the right side. And it gets by him. Here's the third baseman, Jax Biggers. In there for strike one. They say one. <laughs> it could have been ball, but. This is with yeah, right With here. two strikes. May see some movement over there at first base. Try to stay out of a double play here. The next offering misses. The count now two and two. Trying to check his swing. Appeal to third. No swing. Just held it back there. pitch got him yes. swinging for the K gassed it right by him came inside with that two strike fastball now, nicely and just punched him up on right. the inside part of the plate could get around oh. on it and catch it out front many times if you do it's a foul ball and you know a lot of pitchers they really don't like working inside with two strikes because they do not want to hit that bat and when they've got him up against the ropes got to figure out a way to put him away did a nice job right there goal swings oh, through it for strike one Went down on strikes his first time through. The pitch. Just oh, missed. You don't want to get beat by a fastball on, in. On and he spits on that one. Ground ball could be two. Chambers oh. over to second. On the yes. first double play. And that's the inning. They made it look easy, but it started with a nice feed to the second baseman from the shortstop. Perfect turn, and they're out of this jam. And welcome back. Digging in is the switch inning outfielder, Jace Easley. Easley measures 5 feet 8 inches, 23 years old, and he was a fifth round pick back in 2018. Simpson back to work. There's a strike. Swings through it for the yes. day. Blew the express right by his back for strike three. I'm not sure that was the exact location the pitcher wanted, but it worked. He got the swing and miss, and I'm sure a bit of sigh of relief after seeing that one go through the zone. Elier Hernandez, the next to hit. First no. off, ring and it just misses. Of the pitch. This game has been so tight, feels like the next team to score will win it. And that's what I'm trying to keep from happening for the Cardinals. Swing and a ball hammered. Left field. No. Back there. Go catch Out it. Here. Oh, no. I failed my challenge. That one felt good, and they jump out front. It's 2-1. Man, he just barely got that one out of here. And you I shouldn't have said anything. To try and bring it back. He had a good shot at it. Just couldn't quite pull it off. It would have been a stunner if he did. <laughs> one out, base is empty. Now the number two hitter, Liam Hicks. In there and it's 0-1. The 
but why to kick the pitch? Just oh, off the off outside part of the plate. Hey, we got one. And the pitch. Got it. Got him swinging. All right, two outs. His mechanics there typically likes to shoot the ball the other way. No at that time, a little anxious. And here is Trevor Hover. And first offering is fouled off. Hey, now we've got two. Left hand hitter waits. Ah. Two. All right. And yeah, the one two misses to even the count. Hey, get yourself right here. Yes, got him. Struck him out. That's his second strikeout. Just one hit in the inning, but it leaves the yard. It gives them a new pitcher now, number 57. Just trying to keep this one. Go and take a time. At least we won. Ninth on the road, you know that you've got some work to do. you got to score, but then you've also got to get three outs in the bottom half of that inning. They did just that today. Very well played ball game. Get this win on the road. Everybody's happy with the W. 3-2 the final score. Got eight strikeouts. All right. Oh, we got a pitching perk. All right. We'll go check that out. Only need four more strikeouts. Let's see if. All right, we got an increase in some of our pitching. Let's advance. And we'll open up that uh, pitching perk uh, pack thing. Let's go do that. Oh yeah, I changed. I got the USA icon. check for some those are diamond let's see velocity one takes away my break first strike that takes away from my velocity Two, see how much that is. Oh, I don't even have enough. Oh well. All right. All right. Well, we'll end. Um, well, really, yeah, I got a new perk. But. I think I have that on my on. Um, Homer, so that's why I'm not really using that. Mm. 
velocity four. Oh yeah, control four. All right. I like the recharge of the velocity and. Okay. All right, I'm going to end uh, part 14 here. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed uh, this video. Uh, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.